Hey guys, Opie, Junior Bodybuilder Spencer Moore here, and I'm going to just kind of branch off from my last video where I talked about, you know, the journey. So, the journey that you choose to embark on, that's that's all yours, and you have to enjoy it. I mean, the journey that I chose was bodybuilding, so maybe you're going to choose, like, if you're choosing something in the fitness industry, you may choose bodybuilding, you may choose fitness, you may choose physique, whatever, whatever that thing may be, you know. You have to enjoy it because if you don't like enjoy the process of the off season, enjoy the the process of dieting and getting in the best shape of your life. Because I mean, if you, if you don't enjoy it, what's the point? You know, like you're you're gonna hate it. You gotta you gotta make it count. You know, if if you have to if you make it seem like a chore where you know I have to go eat this meal or I have to go to the gym, I have to do this cardio. You know. That's just gonna suck. Like you're not gonna want to continue, um, continue this journey. Like you're gonna get to your show, you're gonna hate the whole process, and you're never gonna want to compete again. And that's not the point. Cause I mean, competing is is amazing. I mean, I went through my first show. I loved it. the The atmosphere that you get when you like at the show is just phenomenal. And having all those people there, you know, same goals as you, same drive. You know, you want to be there enjoying yourself because, again, if you don't, there's no point. If, if you hate it, why would you do it? So it's a great thing to get into and, you know, sticking with it, that's just going to help you later on in life. You know, you can network through your fitness shows. You can, you know, stay in shape when everyone else is getting out of shape, that sort of thing. And, I mean, it doesn't just have to be fitness. Like, if, you're, if your journey is you want to become a doctor, apply that same concept. Like, if you're... You know, you don't have to go study. You don't have to stay in at night and, you know, make your notes. You don't have to go to class. But if you want to do those things, if you want to go to class, if you want to study, if you want to do well, then you're going to do well. It's just all how bad you want it. And you got to enjoy it because, again, if you go through however many years it takes to become a doctor and you hate it and then you don't even like that career, you just wasted eight to ten lives and eight to ten years of your life on education that you can't even use, right? So, I mean, love what you're doing. That's the biggest message I can give to you is just love and enjoy it. And if, if you don't love and enjoy it, you know, maybe pick another journey and realize that you don't have to force yourself to go through it. And I mean, whether you say you can or you can't do something, you're usually right. So just believe in yourself and know you can and then throughout your journey, like, I mean, there's ups and downs. You're going to lose friends because people are going to say, like, for me, all my friends were like, oh, I, I want to go to the bar and drink. You know, you should come with me. But I'm like, no, i got to stick on this diet. I, this is what I want to do. I want to make the most of this. So I, I'm not going to do this. I'm going to choose and do something I want to do instead. And sure, social life wasn't the best at that point. But at the same time, in the end, I enjoyed where I got to. So, I mean, friends are going to come and go, but that goal, that journey is always going to be there if you love what you're doing. And, you know, if, if you find someone that supports, you're always going to find someone who supports the end result. But when you find that person that's going to support the in-between as well, I mean, they're probably a keeper. So that, that's someone who really cares about your journey and you. So then when they're going through a rough time, I mean, be there to support them because that's going to help out a lot. And I mean, Will Smith always said, um, you know, if you're absent during my struggles or something like that, don't accept to be there during my success. So if you make it big, you know, remember those people that were always there for you. All right. Um, and I mean, it's true. Just think about it. Like if those, if those person weren't, weren't those people weren't there helping you out, would you have really gotten to where you are? Yeah, you have the drive, but I mean, you always have those low points where you need someone to support you. So make sure you support them and appreciate them. All right. Uh, thanks for listening to this blog, guys. I, I hope, uh, you know, give you a bit more insight to the journey and how you can make yours better and just make sure you really enjoy it. That's the, that's the biggest advice I can give to you. So, all right, keep coming back, subscribe, watching more of my vlogs, more going to be coming out. Uh, thanks for supporting guys.